Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now today what I'm going to be doing is installing this, the Cardo Pack Talk Bolt, into my Pillions uh, helmet. I've already stuck one into my uh, trusty Array Tour X4, so it's not the first time I've ever done it, but uh, while I'm at it, I'll do a little bit of an unboxing and I'll talk you through the features and functions of the little device as well. So if you're interested in the Pack Talk Bolt, stick around, stay tuned. So a couple of years ago, I installed onto my RA Tor X4 another intercom system, which I primarily used to talk to my pillion. And whenever I rode with my missus or with my daughter, uh, we chatted via that all as well. However, recently, uh, I went for a tour with a group of lads. You may have seen some of the videos. It was uh, some vloggers. I went with Teapot One, Richie Vida, and Land Shops Ride. We had a great time in Spain. Uh, and they were all using these, the, Carla, um, the Cardo Pack Talks. Now, I felt a little bit left out because I had my old intercom. And although we were able to Bluetooth me in, it just wasn't as satisfactory as the uh, clever new systems that they were using on the pack talk. So I thought it was high time I upgraded to the latest and greatest because I'm going to be doing some more riding with those guys, I hope, in the future. Plus, I've got a couple of tours uh, arranged where I'm going to be riding with my pillion and again, I'm going to want to be talking to her when she's on the back of the bike. So uh, before I get on and install it onto my pillion's helmet, let me show you what you get in the box. Okay, then I believe these are called unboxing videos. So this is, uh, this is the box of tricks that you get. Let me just move this out of the way for now. And... Uh, yeah, it comes in a cool little box. As you can see, this is the Pack Talk Bold Duo, so you get two in this particular set. Uh, and actually, I was quite impressed with the packaging on this. Like so many things these days, they, I think, kind of copied Apple a bit, and they make the packaging look really fancy. So it comes in this rather splendid box. As you can see, I've already got one of them out, uh, because, of course, I've already installed that on my array. And let me uh, shift the camera. I'll show you what you get in the box. OK, so here we go. Of course, you get the uh, little unit itself, the Pack Talk. has a little aerial there, and it's got a little wheely bit on the back that you control the volume with, and it's got three buttons here as well to control various functions. More about that later. Uh, this bit comes out. Get all this out. And then you've got uh, two boxes inside, one for each set of tricks. I can shake those out. Just bear with me a moment. Here we go. Instructions in the bottom, as ever. Of course, I haven't read, read those yet. Who does? Uh, that was for the one I've already installed. And this is the, the stuff that you get uh, ready to install it. So first off, there's this clip arrangement. There's various bits of Velcro. And here we go. So this is what you get in the box. So this is a boom mic you can use if you want. This one is a sticky pad mic that you can use instead. You can choose which one that you want to use. This is a sticky pad that you can put on the side of the helmet uh, to mount uh, the unit onto if you want to, or you can use this, which is a, which is a clip. Now, I took advice from uh, my pals, uh, Richie Vida and co, and they said to use the clip rather than the stick on one. It's perfectly solid. I did that on my X4, uh, and it's fine, so I'm going to use that again on this one. And, of course, the Cardo sits on there. Uh, and then you've got the earpieces here, and these are pretty fancy. They've got some real weight to them. You've got Velcro on the back. So you can position them in your helmet. And these are made by JBL, as you can see, who make uh, hi-fi speakers. They sound really, really good as well. All right, so that's what you get in the box. All righty, so much for the uh, unboxing then. What about actually installing it in your helmet? Well, let's have, a, let's have a go at that now then. So, as I say, slightly cheating, because I did do my array before, and this helmet is exactly the same. Uh, so it'll be the same procedure. Just clear the decks here slightly. So basically, this will vary depending on your helmet, of course, but in the case of the RA X4, these cheek pads come out. So that's where you're going to obviously mount the uh, earpieces. So you just pull these out. And uh, in the case of this helmet, as I say, there's a little bit of um, cloth that you take off to, to reveal where the recess goes just here for the, uh, for the earpieces. So first things first, get the clip in place and then position the, uh, the earpieces within there and the same on the other side. So I'll crack on with that. So it really couldn't be easy to put the clip in. It just slides in between your liner and the outer edge of the helmet uh, and sticks on there. And that is really solid once it's on, much better than I think the sticky pads. So uh, the guys are right there. That works really well. And then uh, the unit, when you come to plug it in, obviously it just sits on there. Right, now you get uh, a couple of leads dangling off here, one for the earphones and one for the microphone. You need to hide these under your padding. Uh, I won't bore you with the way I stuff that all in here, uh, but I'll just crack on and do it. It's fairly self-explanatory, but as I say, it will uh, vary depending on the helmet you've got, so I'll crack on. So it really is uh, just a matter of tucking the leads away inside the helmet lining. And uh, obviously the longer you spend at this, the better job you can do.
Right, so that's the headphones in place. Next up, you've got to choose uh, which microphone you're going to use. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the um, sticky pad microphone. So, uh, again, it just goes on literally with a bit of Velcro. And you just plug this in to the spare lead and you stick it right in front of your mouth. Right in front of the mouth position. Again, hide the lead as best you can. Plug her in. And there we can see, hopefully you can see the mic there and we've got the headphones set up in there. So I'm just going to hide now, tuck these leads away underneath that cheek pad. There we are, a nice neat job. With no leads dangling out loose that are going to get caught on anything when you're actually using the helmet. So there we go, I don't know if you can see in there, possibly you can't, but there's uh, basically no, pretty much no visible wiring in there, just that, uh, just where the mic is, so that's the perfect sort of install. Alright, so that's it in, let's, uh, let's get it actually mounted up then. Okay, mounting uh, the unit is simplicity itself, he says, now probably about to make a hash of it, but it just literally clips into there, and pretty much there's no need to ever remove it again. There we go, clipped in, nice and solid, and that thing just does not move on that, on that clip. And again, you can just pull the little air up when you want to do the talking. So that's it, that's what it looks like actually on the helmet. Okay, so much for that. Before we attempt to switch her on, let's just uh, tell you a bit about the features and functions of the Pack Talk Bowl. All right, so I described this uh, as the uh, latest and greatest in uh, um, helmet communication systems. Why do I say that? What, what uh, are the features and functions it offers then? Well, I've written these down to make sure I don't forget anything. number of things. First off, uh, take it as read that these things do all the normal things that you'd expect of communicators. So you can hook them up to your sat-navs and hear your uh, directions. You can talk on your phone with them, uh, receive and make phone calls with them, uh, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so it does all that, and of course you can listen to your music as well from your phone as well on the go. So they all do that, they certainly do that. But uh, the thing with this that makes it really special is something that's called DMC, Dynamic Mesh Communications. And this is what makes these stand out from other similar communicators, because these don't rely on Bluetooth to make a sort of a chain link between riders. Uh, with this DMC setup, you can have up to 15 riders in the same conversation at the same time, and basically each rider connects to each other rider. So if somebody goes out of range, you don't suddenly lose the uh, conversation, you still keep within the mesh, and then as the other person gets back into range again, they rejoin the mesh automatically. Plus, it's amazing sound quality, I'm told. I haven't used it in earnest myself yet, but the guys uh, on the trip I did were saying how much better these sound than other units. So that's, that's the real big deal with these, is the DMC that uh, the Cardo offers. Uh, other things as well, uh, it's controlled and configured by an app on your phone, uh, either an Android or Apple phone. Very, very easy to use. I've fiddled with the one on my RA Tour X4 via my phone app already, and uh, it's very, very straightforward. You can change all the major configuration items on your phone, or you can do it on the unit itself, but I recommend using the phone app. Um, you can, oh by the way, as I mentioned before, you can use Bluetooth if you, if you want to talk to uh, other users with communicators that aren't the Cardo, you can still do that like I did on the tour before, but uh, it's not as good as DMC, it has to be said. Um, the range on this is pretty good, Cardo claim uh, up to a mile range, uh, some of the reviews I've read say about a kilometre is more realistic, um, but again, think line of sight, it depends on conditions and all the rest of it, but uh, certainly for a normal sort of the distances that you ride apart on a normal group ride, absolutely fine. Um, it is waterproof as well, so you can get things as wet as you like, you're not going to have any problems there. 15 hour battery life, uh, Richie Vida and the guys tell me that these batteries on these last forever, you charge them up at the start of the day and you have no issue for it running the whole day you're riding, so that's fantastic. Great sound quality as I mentioned on the 2019 and later units like these are, you get those JBL speakers, so that helps with that. Uh, and then last but not least, they do have built in speech recognition, this is something that Cardo make big claims about. Um, you can just say, uh, hey Cardo, and then volume up, and the volume will turn up, things like that. But uh, I've found that is a little bit iffy. I've been playing with it on my array, uh, and I've found that if you use an American accent and say, hey Cardo, then it might operate. Uh, but if you speak in a normal English accent, it doesn't want to know. It does also work with uh, OK Google, Google and uh, Hey Siri as well, which work a little bit better than the Cardo things. Um, some people swear by the voice commands. I think it's a bit of a gimmick, actually, but uh, we'll see. I think there's going to be an update soon that hopefully gets around that having to speak in an American accent issue. Uh, all right, uh, that's pretty much it for the features and functions. I can't vouch uh, personally for how it works yet, because, as I say, I haven't used them in earnest. I'm only going by what the others were telling me on the tour that I recently did. But I'm going to be using these uh, a lot over the next few weeks and months. You're going to be seeing me use these units, so uh, it'll be a proper real-world review over the next, well, months and years, hopefully. OK, so you, there you go, that's it for my uh, initial look at the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Uh, I know what you're thinking, how much are they? Well, if uh, 
You go on to uh, Amazon, you can get them at the moment at the time of filming this, £280.82 each, or if you get the dual pack like I've got, £448.61. Sounds like a lot of money, but when you consider what they do, I think that's pretty good value. Um, there, I'll stick a link below uh, which you can click on, that's an affiliate link, so if you do click on that link, you'll be helping out the channel as well, so thank you very much for that. Okay, so uh, hope that's uh, been of some interest. As I say, over the next few uh, months, weeks, years, in fact, I'm going to be using these, so uh, we'll get to see how they operate in earnest. All right, hope that's been of some interest. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio.